in this image you are seeing there are prominent cerebellar peduncles and you are also seeing that there is an interpeduncular fossa along with the elongated cerebellar peduncles it gives the appearance of a molar tooth. So, molar tooth sign is a feature seen in Jobert syndrome. We need to understand what is Jobert syndrome. Jobert syndrome is vermis hypoplasia. Whenever there is vermis hypoplasia, the cerebellar vermis is hypoplastic, there will be elongated cerebellar peduncles and along with the interpeduncular fossa, it gives the appearance of a molar tooth sign. And please remember, this molar tooth appearance because of the elongated cerebellar peduncles is seen in Jobert syndrome and in Jobert syndrome because the peduncles get elongated because the peduncles are getting elongated there is also vermis hypoplasia so the vermis is hypoplastic so you see the CSF signal in the fourth ventricle protruding backwards the cerebellar peduncles are also elongated all of this will give the appearance of a bat wing. So, in case of Jobert syndrome, you also see the shape of the fourth ventricle because of the elongated cerebellar peduncles. The shape of the fourth ventricle assumes the shape of a bat wing. So, bat wing ventricle is also a feature of Jobert syndrome, bat wing ventricle.